Well, welcome YouTubers, thanks for checking out this video, and here yet again with two extra Atomus Wave ports to the Sega Dreamcast. I'm trying to keep up, I am honestly. So the games are actually popping out really fast, and the new two games that we've actually got are very interesting. We've got Faster Than Speed, and that is a full 3D uh, racing game that was actually released in 2005 and it kind of it's kind of weird because it kind of puts us in an alternate universe if Dreamcast games are still released back then it does look pretty sweet I must say and the next one is the people's favorite that people's been asking about and that is Dolphin Blue it kind of looks like a Metal Slug game but the actual artwork and the character design looks pretty sweet I'm gonna try something different today because uh, you know I want to try and spice things up with these videos I want to try and do a live play for you guys I do hope that you enjoy so I've got everything a bit set up I'm just gonna try and put my headphones on so I can hear the game and we're gonna boot up faster than speed Wong Ray Wong Wong way round I'm really close at the screen So I'm using my GDEMU, and if any of you guys haven't got one yet, I do recommend totally getting it. The first full 3D game. From the top of the sweet bots. Sweet. So we got our menu here, ah, up and down, not doing anything, okay, B, B is selected, so you have single play and then you got alternate display for two players, credits, ah, three player, four, so I'm guessing you can actually um, kind of beat each other this time, so it's kind of like first play first and so on and so on, so let's go check out one player because it's only me here, and start. Welcome Here we go. To race wars. Check it out. Ah. Okay. Choose Neon Hills. Okie dokie. Oh, sweet man. Do look the reflection graphics on this. Let's go with something sweet. That looks pretty cool. Oof. So many colors. Ah, so you press B. You can change the paint. Really impressed with the graphics. That's cool. Ah, you can change the track of the music. Doesn't be. Don't know which is a good one. Go! Nice. Sweet. Handles really well. The graphics are pretty sweet. Break. I'll trigger. Alright. Just A? He just turns it 360. Okay. So let's get this nitrous on the go. And he's up. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I got some catching up to do. So it's just a one on one battle. When it's one player. Ah, oh, that's how. Uh, ooh, yeah. There he is. Whoa. That's it. The car's done for. That was it. Pretty simple. Got no reward. What's that then? Choose your ride. Oh, nice. Ah, specs about the same, but let's give the second one a go. Bring it on. 
Welcome to Race Alright, right, so we got plenty of levels to choose from. And is it B again? This nope. How do you there we are. Ah, so you just kind of turn the arcade wheel. So you can select all of them. Let's try uh, Ace Pro. Oh no, I ain't no pro. Check it out. Novice. Go. It's pretty awesome seeing the graphics on this. Oh, I have found out they are working on a widescreen uh, patch for this game already. I can see now with this game in widescreen mode, it's going to look even better. See if we can change our view with Y. Oh, oh boy. Not the best with the camera right in the front. It's got our nose again. Sometimes the turning is a bit weird. It's like it doesn't turn enough. Perhaps it's just the car. It's like for this for instance. How do you turn? How do you turn? What's handbrake? Crashing mechanics are a bit unforgiving. Still catching up. Oh my god. The car's a mess. So the game runs pretty sweet. Uh, the kind of track design is a bit all over the place. Some of the controls are a bit sloppy. But then again, I am a newbie to this game. But it's really interesting to see this game. So let's move over now to people's favorite, which is Dolphin Blue. Bam, there he is. Sweet, so I gotta say thanks again to Megavoss, and I do believe there's another person involved. I just gotta check that out for you. I'll put the name in the description. But I was corrected in my last video that uh, another person is involved as well, actually getting these ported over. So, whatever's name I pop up there, thanks very much. They're getting these games over. Now, this is one a lot of people have been excited to jump into. Can't really hear myself with these headphones. Sweet, so we got a, an intro. So this game, what I know of, was released, I think, 2003. Heavily inspired by Metal Slug, and it was created by Sammy and SAK Playboy. Man, I do like that title. Oh, that's sweet. I think it's a two-player game. That was a dolphin, then. Kidoki. And we got 3D uh, art in the background, 2D at the front. Love that stuff. Okay, sweet. Wow. Really like the animation of the characters. What? Already. Ah, oh, we got jump. That's special. Okay. X is special. A is shoot. So at the bottom left there, we got this um, level bar. I think that's our special. Press X to do that. There yeah, it goes back down. Oh my god, so cool. I remember seeing this game 
post years ago, thinking, why haven't we got this? <laughs> This is so much fun. <laughs> Special. Ah, so you got like three levels. Collect the stuff. So it's two player. To see in the top right. And down. Man, it runs so smooth. Gatling gun. So yeah, again, both these games don't have a start button. So once you start, that's basically it, because it's a direct port from the arcade. So. so one thing I would like from these games is just a menu, start button, would be awesome. Um, I know a couple of people complain about the button mapping, but to be honest, when you get used to it, it's not too bad, but it would be nice. And the work the, the people who port these over have done an awesome job so far. Especially now we're on our seventh, seventh new game. So I'll smash this level out, check this boss. Not doing so good. Have it. Oh, my Gatlin. Here he is. Oh, he's fuming. Oh, shh. Ah, oh, you bug. What's that? Oh, yeah. Get launcher. Nice. <laughs> the game is so cool. So I'm pretty excited that these two games are out now finally. And I can't wait for any future Atomic Wave games. And they are popping up really quick, so I'd just like to thank Mega Volts. And that name I can't think of who's been involved actually getting these over. So I'm going to leave that for now. This has been a, a quick review of the latest two games from Atomic Wave. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you liked it, hit that button. It would help and support. Click subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.